Welcome back! In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the Unreal Engine 5.4 streamlined and upgraded retargeting uh, system essentially. It is an improvement on the retargeting system that we already have, just building upon it, making it much easier for us to make use of. And as you can see, it's incredibly easy to use many different types of skeletons for this for your retargeting purposes as well. So let's check it out! So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5.4. This is the preview version. Uh, you can find it available on the Epic Launcher today if you want to. Uh, the actual full 5.4 release will probably happen somewhere in the late of April this year. Uh, so if you want to wait for that, that's approximately when it will be arriving, I believe. Um, in this case, we have a third person template. We're going to be choosing that. So we have some third person characters to uh, retarget around with. And uh, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to Mixamo. You'll find a link to this in the description if you want to go here. And we're going to be going in here and just picking something uh, to make use of for our uh, tutorial here. So if we go in here, you can browse around for different kind of categories of uh, animations that you want to make use of. Uh, there are a bunch of them available here and they're all for free if you're not familiar with Mixamo. Um, in our case, we're just going to be taking something that looks a little bit uh, acrobatic, I guess. So we have this run to flip here, and this is an animation of a character running towards a wall and then making a backflip out of that wall section. Uh, we're going to be importing this animation into Unreal Engine, and we're doing that by clicking download and then having it as an FX with skin 30 frames per second and keyframe reduction none will be fine for our purposes right here. So we're just going to be downloading this and going back into the engine. Now that we are inside the engine, we're just going to be creating a folder. So we have something to place this in. So we're going to be calling it Mixamo. We're going into that folder and we're going to drag in our run to flip animation that we have uh, downloaded from the Mixamo. Uh, website. In this case, we are going to be importing the skeletal mesh here, and that's because we want to have the skeleton, and we're going to be checking in import animations also so we get the animation. So, uh, all in all, we're going to be getting uh, the one animation and the skeleton that it belongs to. So, this is what it creates. So, we close down these windows, there's nothing really of importance here. We're going to make sure to save all of these. Now, the problem with importing like this is that the skeletal mesh is going to get the name of the animation. So we're going to be renaming this to SKM Mixamo just so that it's clear what it is. And we're going to do the same with the skeleton. So we'll do SK Mixamo. So now we have a skeleton, a skeleton mesh, and an animation here. And if we open up this animation, we can see that the animation is playing fine here for this character inside of Unreal Engine. Now, the easy step of actually retargeting the animations now is that we just go right click and click retarget animation and from here we need to pick a source mesh which we can see up here that's going to be the skeletal mesh that we renamed renamed and then it's going to need a target skeletal mesh and in this case we can start off with doing something like choosing the ua mannequin uh, which is the unreal engine 4 mannequin and you can see that immediately what it does is it tries to create a pose for the character that matches the characters. This is so that the, the rigging will be as accurate as possible. So uh, both of these are standing in a T-pose, even though you can see here on this thumbnail that the default pose for the Unreal Engine mannequin is an A-pose. But the source over here is a T-pose, so it's trying to match that. So that's why it's doing this. So just creating a retargeted animation from here is pretty simple. Uh, you just choose an animation. In this case, we take the flip animation Mixamo. We can double check, get double click to see what it's going to be looking like. And then we can click export animations and we can take it in the same Mixamo folder here just for simplicity and export it. And we'll get an animation that is now retargeted for our Unreal Engine 4 mannequin character, right? Now, that's the easy part, but now let's try and understand what is actually going on here because uh, this system here, if we go retarget animation, this is not a new system. This is an improvement upon the IK rig retargeting system that we have gotten already. It's just a quality of life, essentially. Um, so what's going on here? The magic behind all of this is essentially this button here. Uh, Auto-generate retargeter. If we were to 
run our animation and, and uncheck this, you can see that our character go, goes back into the A pose I was talking about, and it's not doing the animation. In this case, we need to have a retarget asset ourselves to do the retargeting. Now, I have done a video previously on how to create uh, a retargeter on Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I'll leave that in the description if that is of interest or for reference. But to explain what's going to be happening here is when we click in the auto generate retargeter, it is creating these assets temporarily for us to make this animation retargeted. What we can do is we can go to export retarget assets and choose to mix them all so that we see that they are all together. You can see that it creates an IK rig uh, for the Unreal Engine 4 character, an IK rig for the Mixamo character, and a retargeting asset, which is going to be the retargeting from Mixamo to the Unreal Engine character. So opening up one of these assets, we can see that this one is set up with all of the chains and everything like that, like we did in the retargeting tutorial that I have done previously. So what this new improvement or quality of life is doing is essentially saying it's creating an IK rig like this for the two different skeletons that we want to migrate between. And then it creates this retargeting asset. And this is what is being used when we actually uh, click the retarget over here. So th this is what it's auto-generating auto to make use of. If we were to deselect this, for example, we could still choose the, the rig here now that we actually exported as an asset and have it export the animation just the same. And if we wanted to tweak our uh, retargeting asset, either by going to uh, the IK rigs and changing something there or the retarget asset itself, which looks like this by default, uh, we could do that if we wanted to tweak something, uh, if this auto-generated uh, um, preview, if we go here, if this preview here of our animation uh, does not live up to, to what we want it to do. So if we click like so, because over here, when we have it as the auto, we don't have a lot of control here, right? We get what Unreal Engine gives us automatically. However, this is a very powerful tool and it uh, handles a lot of different skeletons just out of the box for us. Uh, we can have a bunch of different skeletons like Mixamo, we can have DOS, we have the Unreal Engine mannequins. I also imported a, a character from the Synthi Studios asset packs and just it just works, right? So Epic has put in a lot of effort to make sure that we have a bunch of different skeletons that will work just automatically without us having to put in the effort to create these IK rigs ourselves. Now, we can still create all of these assets uh, like before, even though they're also even easier now. Uh, in this case, we have an IK rig for uh, the Mixamo character. We don't have to set up all of these chains anymore if we don't want to. We can auto create retargeting chains and auto create IK. And this will essentially be all the button presses that we need to have this IK rig completely set up and that way create these assets as well. So they have really streamlined the whole process for us to uh, have our animations uh, being usable between different kinds of skeletons. So yeah, uh, that's essentially it. Now we have a very nice way of being able to get one kind of animation to a different kind of skeleton and with very little work for it. Hopefully the explanation of how this works and uh, everything like that also gives you the, the insight of uh, what this tool does and how it can be useful for you. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.